swear I love her, I know that I love her The way she feels all on the cover The way she make it seem all on the cover hey. What's going on, RB family? And we're back with another video, guys. Hey, 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 if this is your first time watching our video, guys, I'm Rayon. And I'm Brittany, and, and there's no, no title, title bond, bond than us. us. Welcome, Welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel, channel guys. guys. So, guys, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, like comment, share, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Make sure you turn on your post notification, guys. So you know every single time that we drop a lit Banger. video. And make sure you guys follow us on TikTok and all of our social medias, they will be down below. Yes, sir. So guys, today we're going to be doing, you guys know whenever we're in the car and we're just chilling and vibing, y'all know that we got a nice little nice you know, calm conversation video. for you guys. So guys the reason we we were up early this morning ready rayon had to go and do a showing and i wasn't feeling too well so babe was like hop in the car and on, we're gonna go for a ride so guys so we're here so but we decided to um shoot a little video for you guys um the reason why we shoot these type of videos is because like we want you guys to be able to see us beyond pranks and, and all those crazy videos. all those fun fun videos like just pranking one another but in actuality we actually prank each other a lot off camera yeah. like extremely a lot from since day one we was always messing with yeah we was houses. always messing with one another like i'll come inside the house and rayon would like hide in the closet yeah. or like i would hide behind the bed or something like that like we always do that or scare each other in the staircase i used to scare you first though yeah he used to scare me a lot first and then all of a sudden you like i don't know like you tough enough or you man yeah. enough. i you don't remember know my time, you I think the started first, coming back at me i so think the first like, first time you scared me was. we was at stop a shop when it was underneath the thing oh yes and yes, i was yes. coming inside the car and he wasn't in the but car the mask. not the mask one that wasn't that the first was the time I, was, I talked about when we first first started dating oh okay, okay. And i was about to come into your other car and and you you wasn't in the car and I was like where the hell is he and you had walked around the car to come on the other side to catch me mm -hmm. and you scared listen I scream so loud Crazy. yeah guys so we basically want you guys to really be able to see our relationship and you know understand a little bit about me and Rayon's relationship all right baby yes, sir. all right okay. so guys today's discussion you know, people always used to ask us like how we how we still here after like almost six years. Almost six years. Me and Rayon used to argue so much. It was bad. Like it was to the point where it was bad. It was so bad. Yeah. Like we used to argue and tell each other, like, alright, I'm leaving. I'm or you leave. Get out of here. Or whatever. Listen, like, it was it was bad. It was so bad. And like I and I feel like my roommates used to see it the most because he rarely always used to come to my room. I would I would only go to his room sometimes, but his room is never with there. I don't know. Was it because you didn't trust me? I, I think it's because that's what I'm saying. I think it's because you didn't trust me and I didn't trust you. We both had like a little bit of trust that's issues kind of thing. So it was like it was kind of hard. And on top of that, guys, Rayon's mouth was spicy and my mouth was spicy. And mouth was spicy even more. So it was like it was to the point, guys. Like when we would argue. And let's just say, for example, I say something slick to her. Of course, she got a slick mouth too, so she's gonna say something back to me. And then it's just gonna spark a whole bigger thing, or vice versa. If she say something slick, I'm gonna say something back slick to her too. So, over time, we didn't really have no book for this or anything like that. But over time, we, you know, we started to understand each other, and then like we came to realization, like, I, right, that's just how, that's just how Brittany is. This is just how I am. So whenever whoever say something slick, like we would just maybe let it slide you know what i'm saying just yeah. to avoid a bigger confrontation because at the end of the day we we know that we wanted to be with each other that's the yeah. hard part so i think like, that was the hard part right, so it's like to why the, the fact hell that, we like, like, so like why much? were we bucking heads so much because like everything else oh, guys we used to get along so good everything but it was like for the simplest things it was never like Man. oh you talking to this girl or you talking to that guy oh i see you here no i don't even know what the hell we used to argue that's about y'all know like two chicken in a cage <laughs> I don't even know what the hell we used to argue about. You don't remember? Little petty stuff. And that's the thing too. We never used to argue about like 
messing with anyone else. It's no. like it was just like little personal stuff like in between us. Like conversation that like he maybe said something that I didn't like and I blew out of proportion. Yeah. He said I said something that he don't like, so therefore it's like a bigger thing. But I feel like when you were in a relationship and you first start dating someone or first start meeting someone. Oh, or maybe you know what it was? What? We we was trying to understand the way how each other think. And maybe at first we like the way how you would think about something, maybe I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like I didn't we like did how argue you would about say that it. Right. I didn't really like how you would say we it. We would argue about that sometimes. So I too. feel like now since we got over it, it made us like so much more stronger because now we understand each other, you know, mental. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. So, I think that is true. So I, I I feel like that helped with our connection now. And that's why it's so strong because it's like I understand how you think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. And you understand how I think. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, but right I just now, understand, but I understand like what you're trying to say. Uh, right. So exactly. it's like now when we have like little we're crazy little um little discussions when it comes to like, oh Rayon, don't put your shoes there. Oh Rayon, put your sock don't put your socks there or whatever. If he say something slick to me or whatever, I'll tell him we'll, we'll carry it behind and it's like nowadays our like when we have disagreements, our disagreements don't even last long. And that's the thing though. Our disagreements I might just back then I used to know him too. Our disagreements back then never used to be like, oh I'm not talking to you for like two days mm -hmm. or three days. It never even Rayon Right, it was just like Couple of what? Couple minutes, hours, hours, and that was it. And that's it. And then we both was like, just stay right there in the same room. Exactly. It was never like, oh, he left, I left. We just like, he unless, would, unless like I really had to go and do something, maybe yeah, or something like that. But other than that, he'll take his side, I'll take my side, and we'll just give each other space to cool down. And then after that, you swear thing, nothing ever happened. No, never happened. Cause Be either you will come to me or I'll come to you and be like, okay, so what you trying to eat today? <laughs> yeah, like. Or what you want to do? Well, when I really, really look back oh, at this, man. it's like, me and Rayon have come from like a long way. When I tell you guys, like, our discussions or our disagreements now, we don't even, we don't even process it. We don't even process it. Honestly. Like, it's just like, in one air, out the other. It's nothing to say, oh, I don't want you here, or get out, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing like that at all. And I feel like when you're when you just start talking to someone and at the beginning of your relationship you argue and bickering back and forth, knocking heads all day. I not, feel not every relationship though. Some relationships start off real smooth sweet for like the first couple months. It's like, okay, no arguments, no discussion, like no fussing, no fighting, no nothing. But then and after start, like yeah. that couple of months, you know what I'm saying? Like they start fighting, it's like damn, they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. But I feel like our situation worked out best for us. Right, for us. Like when we first started dating, we were, you know, going back in hand. I mean, we was cool. Yeah. But then it's like we started arguing about little petty stuff. Yeah. ASAP though. And I feel like in a situation like that, it's like you also have to worry about like how much you want to be with that person. Mm -hmm. Or how I, much I, I you remember, value that person. I remember when I it was, I think we had a discussion about want and needs. Again, I don't, yeah. know, if, I don't know if we spoke about this already, but that was one of our biggest arguments. Wants and needs. And I was telling Brittany, I want you. I don't need you. And it just sparked this whole big thing. But now, we guys, had just started now dating. I need my baby. Okay. I think we had just started dating, and I blew that whole thing. I blew that whole thing out of proportion. Huge. Okay, guys. Huge. For no reason. She blew out of proportion because you didn't understand what I was saying. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Over the time, it's like you have to understand the, your partner. You have to understand like, like what he's saying. It's not necessarily to like hurt you. It's just that, you know, sometimes for guys and for girls, sometimes it takes us a little while before we can get out what we want to say. But it's not to hurt our feelings. It's just like right now, this is the only thing that I could think about the words for me to think about for me to say, basically. Right. But... We overcome that. Yeah, we overcome that. Because we had, and we had just man. How you want me yeah, to say I, I need you? I want you. I want you to be here. I, want you I know, home. babe. Um, but it's okay though. You understand me now. You I understand you now. I had, I had to get Brittany up to speed. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean to get me up to speed? Huh? So I had to get you up to speed? About what? About me. How? To understand me. I always understand you. You didn't understand me when I was saying I want you. Ah, uh, and now you understand it. See? No, no, no. You're not gonna okay, that's how you gonna act. All right, cool. <laughs> but now, guys, I honestly, babe. You're like when I bite your knees. All right, go ahead. But honestly, now, guys, I honestly, truthfully believe, like, our relationship 
is like I don't want to say perfect, no, but perfect. for us, it's like having to go through like arguments and all that at the beginning of our, of our relationship to now, it like formed in such into such like a beautiful butterfly. I mean, we have an understanding. It's not perfect, but we have an understanding. Yeah, we have an understanding. understanding of each other. And we respect, at the end of the day, we respect our relationship. Yeah, day. and we respect one another so, at the same part. Like, you have to respect one another. If you don't respect one another, exactly. that's it. And so, like, sometimes... Respect, you have to respect, too, what y'all what y'all building, what y'all working on. Mm -hmm. You have to respect it. If not, then it's just Sorry. not going to go nowhere, you know? Yeah. I remember something, like, still to this day, sometimes when Rayon says certain things, I look at him like this. Because at first, if he was to say something that I didn't understand, I'd be like, Why would you say that? But... But that's the thing, we never even used to scream at one another. But like now, when whenever he says something that I don't really like, I go like this. Hmm. Babe, maybe you shouldn't say it like that. Say it like this. He, and he'll be like, but why? And I'll be like, okay, listen to how you said it and then listen to how you should have said it. And then he'll be like, okay, you make sense. You understand? It's like sometimes you just got to understand people's way of talking, people's way of thinking, people's way of expressing themselves. Because it could just blow out for no reason. Yeah. That's true. Anything else? And, and it's just like what I used to tell you too. Like when you used to be like, when you used to be like, why, 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 why? I used to be like, why not? Yeah, like, I didn't like ask that. Ask yourself why not. Like but now that. you understand it though. Yeah. It's Before like, I not? hated when he used to do that. I'd be like, why this? Why that? Why that? You're like, why not? I'd be like, why not? When, when you start thinking why not, it opens up your mind. Bigger because now it's like you start you start trying to solve things, not to say like try to understand how things are supposed to be. It's just like why not? Like mm -hmm. why things are supposed to go the way how you want it to go? Yeah, why can't why I go, not the go the other way? way? And you would just to right, that. And you would just right, exactly. So, but guys, at first I didn't understand and I didn't like when he said it, but yeah. Anyway, guys, this was just like a little quick little video that we wanted to let you guys know. Mm -hmm. You know, we still gotta get breakfast. Baby. Yeah, we still gotta get what breakfast. We want to eat in the park. Baby, it's so hot outside. Why oh, you want to go upstairs and cook me something nice? Put a whole lot of spice. You see where he go? <laughs> where, 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 go, where straight, where go straight to the house. Why you want to go to the house? Because what could happen after the breakfast? What are you talking about? This boy is something else. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm lost. You know what? I'm lost. Guys, we're just about to end this video right here because Rayon is ridiculous. I said nice breakfast with a whole lot of spice and you start talking about what's going to happen. What's going to happen next? No, no, no. You going to turn on the AC? Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, God, share, share, subscribe. subscribe. Make sure y'all follow us on all of our social medias. It will be down below. And make sure you guys follow us on TikTok. And make sure you turn on your post notification, guys. Yes. So that you know every single time that we drop a... Banger and guys, we got a whole lot of more bangers coming for you. But I hope guys. you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I know y'all see it though. I know y'all see it though. Brittany right, coming Brittany, with the clutch and clutches. You don't gotta brag. You don't gotta brag. Take it easy. Take it easy. I got some stuff coming for you this week. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right, guys. <laughs> Comment down below, Team Brittany. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace. Peace. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. If you know, hey guys, welcome to the Army Family. Out. Peace.